Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for supporting us. Pitbull Razor Edge. You've probably heard about how amiable and laid back the Razor Edge Pitbull is. Many dog owners find them to be very promising because they are frequently touted as having excellent people skills and a gentle demeanor. These dogs are not purebred pit bulls, despite the fact that their name contains the word pit bull. They are actually a hybrid of the American Pit Bull Terrier and several other breeds. They are not just a cross between two different breeds, despite the fact that they are technically a mixed breed. Since quite some time, pit bulls in this line have been bred using official bloodlines. You can't just mix a Mastiff and an American Pit Bull Terrier and call it a razor edge pit bull. They have to descend from a particular bloodline. Because of this, these dogs are usually only found with licensed breeders. They're not your typical pit bull, though. Appearance. The result of combining the pit bull breed with several other breeds is the razor edge pit bull. But this has been done in the past. His dogs, in contrast to other mixed breeds, have enough development to substantially lessen the randomness that is frequently associated with mixed breeds. Therefore, the physical characteristics of all of these dogs are similar. These dogs have a pit bull-like appearance. They do, however, have a distinct body type. They were originally bred to be bigger pit bulls, so they tend to be a little bigger than most pit bulls. They have been hybridized with mastiffs and English bulldogs. They may be a little bit bulkier than a typical pit bull, and usually have more of a stoat stance. This line of pit bulls has been specially bred to produce mostly blue or blue brindle coat colors, unlike regular pit bulls. Because of this, they are occasionally referred to as blue razor edge pit bulls. They typically don't come in as many colors as other pit bull lines do. Having said that, some breeders do focus on other hues, such as blue fawn or black and white. Sharp edge pit bulls were bred to have larger heads and chests because English Bulldogs were in their genetic background. They also have shorter backs than a purebred American Pit Bull Terrier and frequently compact legs. There are various breeds of these dogs. Males are typically larger than females in the standard variety, which typically stands at 16 to 20 inches. Dogs in the XL version are bigger, standing between 19 and 22 inches tall. The traditional design resembles the original pit bull more and has a lighter frame. They lack the extravagance that is characteristic of other breeds. This particular variation shows more evidence of the American pit bull terrier ancestry. Breeders might also market other variations like the 50. The kettle clubs that currently recognize this breed do not, however, recognize these. The majority of breeders nevertheless continue to produce them despite the fact that the act does not officially recognize this breed. History. This breed's history is a little unclear. Initially, the Razor Edge Pitbull was a typical Pitbull. A line was later crossed with a number of other breeds, though. Most people agree that at least five breeds were combined to create the Razor Edge Pitbull, but we are unsure of the precise breeds that were employed. At the very least, the UKC breed standard suggests that the American Pit Bull Terrier, American Bulldog, Mastiff, and English Bulldog were likely used. The result of combining these breeds was a dog that looked more like a bully. They frequently have large frames and strong muscles. Additionally, the temperament has been adjusted. The American Pit Bull Terrier is very amiable and frequently does well with kids. Other commonly used bully breeds, like the Mastiff, are a little more aloof. This method of carefully blending these breeds produced a bully breed that is very sociable and people-focused. Although the development of this breed began in the 1980s, it took until the 1990s for it to reach its final form and acquire the desired temperament. This breed has since undergone some development. This breed eventually developed into something so distinctive that it is now mainly recognized as its own breed. The first kennel club to recognize this breed was the American Bully Kennel Club, which was established in 2004. It served as a source for pedigree records at first, enabling a dog to be proven as a Razor Edge Pit Bull. As a result, this dog is a purebred Razor Edge Pit Bull, and not a mixed breed. The club also provided a written standard for the dog, which is available on the ABKC website. 
The American Pit Bull Terrier comes in a wide variety of forms, some of which resemble this breed quite closely. The fact that they were specifically bred for a lower prey drive and more bully traits sets this breed apart from other bully type breeds. As a result, even though they resemble some other breeds, their characteristics are distinctive. This breed is still evolving greatly because it is a more recent development. The American Pit Bull Terrier is evolving into a dog with more bully traits, but it is by no means an old breed. Characteristics and Temperament These dogs share a lot of DNA with American Pit Bull Terriers, which accounts for their similar personalities. They have a great sense of humor and care about others. Nevertheless, they do not in the least make good guard dogs, despite some misconceptions. They don't have a reputation for being aggressive and are far too friendly. Rather than biting an intruder, they are much more likely to lick them. However, they can make good alert dogs. They can be noisy and are generally quite alert. Many people will bark at almost anyone who passes by. Aggression isn't the reason for this. They merely enjoy meeting new people. In this way, they resemble other terriers somewhat. They get along well with kids because of their larger size and patience. They typically don't get upset by toddlers and other kids, and they can easily put up with a lot of attention from a hyper child. Additionally, due to their larger size and sturdy construction, it is unlikely that a child could harm them, which reduces the likelihood of fear-based biting. The Razor Edge Pitbull is a content dog who enjoys living. In general, they are constantly thrilled and excited. When this dog is so ecstatic by the smallest things, it is difficult to be in a bad mood. They exude a joy of life that is uncommon in other people. These dogs have some athletic ability. Many of the breeds used to create the Razor Edge Pitbull were designed to work, even though they were intended to be family pets. As a result, this dog performs best when given a task. Generally speaking, they excel in almost every dog competition. Additionally, they frequently respond well to training and are easy to train. They are in no way street smart. They may run into oncoming traffic or continue running for long distances until they get lost for even the smallest, most exciting thing. They ought to only be kept in an area that is completely fenced in because of this. Some are quite adept at scaling fences, so a smooth, High fence is frequently needed. You should definitely let your pit bull come inside during the winter or inclement weather, even though they may look tough and do well when left outside in the cold. Human aggression is a highly undesirable trait in the breed and is quickly bred out. Dogs that are aggressive are removed from the breeding population and excluded from dog competitions. As a result, aggression was eradicated from the breed over generations. There is some misunderstanding about the Razor Edge Pitbull, a more recent breed. Nevertheless, they are not merely a Pitbull bloodline or a mixed breed, despite some common misconceptions. Rather, they have evolved into a distinct breed all their own. Although many breeders continue to sell them as Razor Edge Pitbulls, the UKC now recognizes them as the American Bully. The name comes from Razor's Edge, the first kennel to work on the breed. Both terms are now used interchangeably, though some breeders will only refer to a dog as a razor edge pit bull if it can be proven that it originated from this particular kennel. Overall, this breed is very sociable and makes a wonderful pet. They are strong enough for most kids and have largely lost their prey drive. So long as they are properly trained, they can be a great breed for a first-time owner.